Steven Crowder is a right-wing YouTuber who recently brought up some counter arguments to a vegan diet, questioning the moral and environmental benefits. His millions of followers have vegan panties in a bunch. As usual, Mike the Vegan is using pseudoscience to misinterpret studies to justify following the vegan starvation diet he uses to maintain his ghastly appearance. There is clearly a new world order agenda to remove meat from our diets. This isn't for the environment because the climate crisis lacks evidence. Whoever controls the food supply has power over everyone. And that is what this is about. The IPCC, Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, has led the public to believe they are examining the entire climate system. But we are only looking at CO2 emissions. It's like describing a car and how it operates while only focusing on how one wheel turns. They are only examining one aspect of the climate human CO2. Yet CO2 levels have risen for 18 years, but the temperature hasn't increased. The IPCC has created this illusion that CO2 is the most important greenhouse gas, but they themselves acknowledge that H2O, water vapor, is the most important, accounting for 95% of greenhouse gases. Only 4% is CO2. In a 2007 report, they wrote, Water vapor is the most abundant and important greenhouse gas in the atmosphere. However, human activities have only a small direct influence on the amount of atmospheric water vapor. So how are you able to determine the impact of 4% of greenhouse gases if you have limited knowledge of 95%? From this perspective, when compared to natural sources, human emissions have a very small, perhaps undetectable effect on global climate. We are actually entering a grand solar minimum, a period of cooling where the earth not only lowers in temperature, climate becomes more volatile, unpredictable. It becomes difficult to grow food in every past solar minimum in history, there have been massive famines, millions of people dying. People in control, the elite, have us arguing over bullshit data and statistics. They simply want to be in control of the food supply, therefore in control of the population. Whether you have a vegan purchasing Beyond Meat or a carnivore dieter eating grain-fed steak, you are still supporting the same corrupt food system. If you take out the argument of what is better for the environment, then you realize why we are in our current food system. Do you genuinely think the leaders of this planet would let our activities destroy it? If our human activities could actually destroy the planet. So what is the goal of our food system? Money, money, money. The goal of conventional agriculture is to make money. They have made the population sick, unhealthy, and unhappy over the past 50 years and will continue to do so. It has never been and never will be about the environment. It's about power and money. What if it wasn't about money? We could raise all of our animals on pasture, grow our plant foods organically, biodynamically, but that would require a huge shift in infrastructure and take money out of the hands of those in control. Right now, there is an oligarchy of four companies that control the majority of the meat production, as well as corn and soy seed sales. They control everything needed to raise conventional feedlot meat and aren't going to give that up anytime soon. The reason you're here watching my video is probably because you understand these people don't give half a shit about your health or well-being. 
but we all know what the true solution is. Bringing animals back to pasture, growing all of our food as nature intended. Not only is this the best for our health, if all of this climate nonsense was true, it would also be the solution. So we know Mike the Vegan doesn't understand any of this, and Steven Crowder definitely doesn't either. But Mike the Vegan is misinterpreting the information that he does have access to. He brought up that sheep were causing soil erosion, but that couldn't be further from the truth. If you read the study, the main issue is subsidies that encourage farmers to plant cereal grains on as much land as possible, some land being inappropriate. Volume-based payments on sheep resulting in overgrazing pasture, as well as economic benefits of high-value crops such as potatoes and corn being grown in locations where erosion is risky. The reality is that people are driven by money and are not following responsible farming practices. Different land is appropriate for different things. A large percentage of the land on this planet is ideal for animal pasture. Some of it is ideal for agriculture. But when you till the soil every year for monocropping and have animals overgraze pasture in a restricted landscape, you end up with massive amounts of soil erosion, the nutritious topsoil being washed away. Soil erosion is a product of conventional farming, aka unsustainable, unnatural farming methods. But Mike the Vegan is trying to make an argument that sheep eating grass is destroying the planet. This has nothing to do with the environment. This becomes a question of, are we going to have enough food if modern farming methods are destroying the landscape? Especially considering these practices are unreliable in an event such as the Grand Solar Minimum. We are placing too many eggs in one basket. A poor growing season cannot be recovered from if several years are just as bad. But animals can roam and graze on pastures in different locations. Instead of relying on corn, wheat, and soy to feed ourselves and our animals, we can have free range livestock as a safe source of calories and supplement with any other nutrition available in the environment. If the Grand Solar Minimum is similar to what has happened in our past, we clearly don't have a food system that can sustain our current food consumption in general, let alone meat consumption or, or specific food consumption. Even just this year, we had canned vegetable shortages. The United States is relying on a system to grow food that has too many factors out of our control. So by telling us to go vegetarian, the elite might be preparing us to live off of cockroach milk and soy slop meat, or possibly worse. Thank you guys for joining me. If you could please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon, and above all, please share the video if you can. If you guys would like to support me further, check out Frankie's Free Range Meat, high quality, nutrient-dense animal foods at an affordable price. Go to frankiesfreerangemeat.com. Uh, we just added high-quality grass-fed Wagyu beef uh, as well as a ground meat organ grind. You can also check out Frankie's Naturals, minimal ingredient, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. Thanks again for joining me, guys, and enjoy the rest of your day.